Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will give an introduction to using plots. Plots allow you to create graphical layouts of your fixtures. They are also the basis of pixel mapping which will be covered in a separate tutorial. For now we shall focus on creating a new plot and the various methods we now have for selecting fixtures. One way to create and open a new empty plot is via the command line. Holding down PIG and pressing the fixture key enters plot into the command line. So pressing record followed by PIG fixture 1 enter will create an empty plot 1. You can then open this plot by pressing PIG fixture 1 open. Another way is to open the plots directory by holding down the open key and selecting plots from the main toolbar. You can also use the shortcut of holding down PIG and open followed by the fixture key. Press record followed by an empty plot. You can then open this new plot by holding down the open key and pressing the plot. Plots can also be created with fixtures already added by selecting the fixtures before recording the new plot. This automatically arranges the fixtures in a box formation also known as a box gang of fixtures. In order to be able to add fixtures to a plot, the fixture edit or gang edit button must be enabled. If only the gang edit button is enabled, the fixture edit button will be enabled automatically when you select your fixtures. In the properties panel, the add fixtures tab will also be automatically selected. And there you have four options to how your fixtures will be laid out in the plot. Select the fixtures for the first gang and select the gang arrangement, then drag across the plot. In this example, I shall firstly select fixtures 1 through 100 and the grid gang. Next, I shall add 40 fixtures in a circular gang. Then, I'll add two straight line gangs of 10 fixtures each, followed by a curve gang of 20 fixtures. Fixtures can be removed from a plot by selecting them and pressing the delete button in the properties panel. When doing this, it is easier to disable the gang edit button first to avoid selecting the gang accidentally, which would then remove all fixtures in that gang rather than just your selection. Fixtures can also be moved independently from the rest of the fixtures in a gang by first selecting them, then dragging them away from the gang. Once separated from the gang, the position and rotation of the fixtures can also be adjusted from the properties panel. Fixtures can very easily be reattached to the gang by dragging them back over it. Gangs themselves provide a quick way to make changes to multiple fixtures by resizing, repositioning or rotating them, affecting all fixtures that are part of that gang. To edit a gang, enable the gang edit button. To avoid selecting fixtures whilst working with gangs, it is useful to disable the fixture edit button. Now select the gang to edit. You can drag the gang along with all of its fixtures around the plot. You can use the bottom right handle to resize the gang and the top handle to rotate the gang. Position and rotation can also be modified from the properties panel. When the gang is selected, fixture layout and ordering can also be changed. A gang can be removed along with all its fixtures by pressing the delete button. Once you are happy with your fixture layout, disable the fixture and gang edit buttons. You are now ready to work with your plot. Using plots allows for methods of fixture selection that have only ever been possible in previous software versions by typing their selection order into the command line and recording groups. There are now three new ways to select fixtures. The path selection tool selects fixtures by drawing a line through them. Then we have the rectangle selection tool, which allows you to draw a rectangle over the fixtures. Finally, the lasso selection tool selects fixtures by drawing a freeform circle around them. For both the rectangle and the lasso tools, fixtures will only be selected if they are fully inside the drawn shape. Fixtures only partially inside the rectangle or lasso will not be selected. 
Once fixtures are selected, they can be worked with normally in the programmer. Hold down the plus and minus keys to add or subtract fixtures from your original selection without starting a new selection. Any fixture types can be added to the plot view, but at this time only intensity and colour mixing feedback is provided. There are some navigational controls in the plot. Show All will zoom the plot to show you every fixture within it. Show Selection will zoom to just your currently selected fixtures. You can manually zoom by clicking on the zoom button and dragging up and down with the trackball or mouse. You can also zoom to the pointer using the trackball ring. Holding down the open key will allow access to scroll and zoom controls on the first three encoders. In the next tutorial, we will take a look at using plots for pixel mapping. Thank you for watching.